All right, what is going on, everybody, and welcome to Madden 23. We are going to start my first ever face of the franchise. I've never done this in any other Madden because I didn't care for it. I can just go into the normal franchise. But I'm going to try face of the franchise for once and see how it is in Madden 23. They changed a lot. They changed the passing. But we'll see if the game is actually different. Now we're going to create a new avatar, and I will create the one and only C.J. Lewis. All right, so I picked Agile. So this is the yard. Because I have a feeling with face of the franchise, I think you're only allowed to be a quarterback. Because C.J. Lewis is actually a running back. So if this is for the yard, I'm just going to pick running back. Uh, I think I'm just going to pick running back if this is just the yard. I don't really care about the yard. But this is C.J. Lewis. So this is a running back. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a quarterback in the NFL. I picked Agile. I think everyone's going to end up picking balance, so I want to be different. Uh, 5'10", 190. He's fast and agile, but his weakness is he lacks throwing power, strength, and toughness. Makes sense. That's, I mean, the other one was strong arm. So, the league. I don't care about the yard, really. It all starts here. Choose your position, sign with your team, and climb to NFL great. So, I can. Can I be a running back? Oh, crap, I can. I didn't know that. I, I went into this thinking I could only be a quarterback. That kind of changed everything. If that's the case, I would have picked something a bit different. I probably would have went more a Derrick Henry build. But if I can be a running back, that's what I'm picking. Because a quarterback would be sick, but I kind of want to be a running back. That's what CJ is. So, CJ Lewis, we're going to start as a halfback. All pro, we'll start on all pro. I'm going to go with... I guess competitive is what I usually play on. Injury, we want to stay on. Pre-existing, I guess uh, you got to stay on. Uh, we'll do six-minute quarters. I like six-minute quarters. I guess we'll stay on these settings for now. Uh, yeah, that's weird. I thought I only had to be a quarterback, so, I mean, I'm fine with that. I prefer to be a running back. I really don't care, but I guess we'll watch this. A few inches later. I don't care about this. All right. Welcome to Contracts. You've got a lot of offers on the table this year, but not all of them are created equal. Check the grade. Your skill level and position determine the grade and quality of each team's offer. An A-plus means you're the perfect missing piece. A scheme fit icon also means you'll have an easy time dropping into that team's existing strategy. Know your worth. Your market value is based on your yearly salary without bonus. A player your position and overall should expect to make. Check it out and make sure you're getting paid fairly. So my estimated market is 2 mil. Secure the bag. Your contract value impacts how much cred you earn per game and per end of season bonus. So whether you want to play favorites or go for the biggest paycheck, the choice is yours. So these are my offers right now. The Buccaneers are an F plus, D plus. So not great offers so far. For a running back, oh, my favorite team, the Chargers, F plus, obviously because they have Eckler. Uh, they offer me a little bit more. Is the Jets really the best offer? The Seahawks, they have Chris Carson though, even though he just retired. The Texans... Davis Mills. Yikes. There is no team that really needs a running back. I thought they'd be better offers. I figured the Patriots, even though they have Damian Harris, I figured they'd have better offer than this. Uh, so what's their offer? Obviously 1.55, 200 per game. Oh yeah, the Jets offer is a lot more. The Jets right now seem like the best team to go to. The Dolphins. 174, 350. The Dolphins are offering a lot. One set, the Dolphins are offering more than the Jets. 350, 1320, 220, 1600, 1600, 220, 1320, 350. They're obviously $1,000 more, really. So Miami, heading down to South Beach, play for the Miami Dolphins, except they're offering the best contract available is between them and the Jets. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to get started. Yeah, I'll catch you later, though. Just the man I've been waiting for. Oh, hey, I, I'm... <laughs> I know who you are. That's my job. But you don't know me yet? I'm Andy Kisner, Director of Player Personnel. Oh, nice to meet you, Andy. Likewise. We're really happy to have you in the building. Thank you. I'm ready to get to work, though. Love the culture you guys have here. I think it's going to be a great fit. Well, that's our belief, too. So look, we've got a lot to do today, so we gotta get moving. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Coach Carter! Hey, Miss AK. That's supposed to be Chris Carter. So, you probably already know this. 
It's not like you're a rookie or anything, but as director of player personnel, I take great pride in making sure my players are taken care of on and off the field. Take a request, community outreach opportunities, travel plans, anything you can think of, I can help with it. I'm here for you. Okay, bet. I appreciate it. Like I said, the culture here was a big part of my decision. Well, it's not just me. It's throughout the entire organization. So let's get you into gear. We want to give you a chance to make sure you got everything you need for game day. Thanks, Andy. Of course. All right, is this where I pick my actual equipment? Yes, sir. There it is. Miami CJ Lewis gets his locker, and they're going to let me rock the number two. CJ Lewis. Yeah, let me pick my helmet, bro. Oh, bro, you can pick a jersey style now? You can have your jersey. That's kind of sick. Not going to lie. I'm actually going to have it uh, loose. Why not? I didn't. That's actually really, really sick. Not going to lie. Alrighty, here we are. Fresh start. I'm guessing that's a preseason game. Yeah, preseason week one. Uh, side activities. That's a lock, I guess. Offensive emphasis and coach intro. Meet Carter Landry. Okay, so it wasn't Chris Carter. New team. Upgrade players. Set weekly goals. Uh, news is the same. League is the same. Can you see the standings? No, you can't. Of course not. That was an issue with Madden 22. You couldn't see the standings, and that still is the same thing. Unless I can see it from here somewhere, which I don't think I can. So that's stupid how I can't see the standings. Can I click that? Complete. Okay, so I need to start with the fresh start. Yo, what's up, Sosa? Hey, man. Just wanted to check in with you. How are you feeling? Excited to get to work? Yeah, man. Fresh start's gonna be nice, but I'm ready to get to it. You've got a golden opportunity, too. You might be a one-year deal, but they're gonna give you plenty of chances to prove it. You gotta be ready to take it and run with it. Uh, I'm ready to be a star, bro. Come on, Sosa. You've known me long enough to know I'm ready for my moment. I'm ready to be a star. All right. I'm ready to watch you put on a show. Appreciate it, Sosa. Fast rising star. Plus two speed for next game. I'll take it. I just realized that uh, Tro Owens intro, that was actually a uh, part of the story that I skipped. Like that Sosa guy, we got introduced to him. It's fine. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I don't know why they started with a Madden's rating adjuster. Uh, weekly activities. A pro player already has a lot on his plate, but a real superstar makes the most of his spare time too. Side activities are your way of doing that. First, select an open day on your calendar. Depending on the day type, there will be a different mix of what you can do. That's pretty... I really like this. This is pretty sick. And you'll see all the possible activities available. There are even rare activities with distinct colors that provide bigger payoffs when they show up. All activities give you rewards like temporary buffs for an upcoming game or bonus rep and cred. Select the activities that bet suit your need for the week. So, too slow. One of your teammates thinks you can't keep up with them on the field. Challenge them to a 40-yard dash and improve who's faster. Rank war. Uh, so, 100 cred. That's why I used to upgrade. Um... If that's if the credits is what I use to upgrade my player, I'm gonna go for the hundred credits. So I'm gonna do that. So this is an actual practice on field drills. I hope we don't have to do them. Probably do. Uh, inside. So there's two inside. Learn to call the play away from the strength of the defensive line force, and it doesn't lose in this kind of running game. I'm just gonna do inside run. Yeah. So I actually have to do that. So I'm probably not even gonna do that to be honest with you. Uh, private workout. Plus three strength, plus three max stamina, plus five strength, plus one stamina. I'm going to go with the stamina. Uh, myotherapy plus one max stamina, plus one agility, and one max stamina for the next two games. Um, I am going to do this one, the plus strength, plus two strength, even though that won't do much. But I'm going to lock in my activities. Do I need to do the on-field drills? I can simulate them. Okay. I don't know what I get for it, though. But I do like how you can simulate most of them. Okay, so it gives you the minimum, which is fine. Um, okie doke. I can get back now, I believe. Yes, I can. So I believe the red credits is what I use to upgrade my player, correct? Oh, no, it's green credit. Boost your core skill groups and see overall skill ratings increase. You can change your physique. 
So if I change my physique, I can. J oh, that's actually I kind of like that. I like it a little bit. You can actually change your physique. So if I didn't want to, I can just go straight to Bruiser, or I can go to Balance. So that's actually pretty cool. So the green is the upgrade, and then we already know how abilities work. All right, offensive assistant coach intro. We we're going through a lot just to get into this first game. I see, but I mean, it, I like it. Miami Dolphins. Hey, the new man in town is here. Welcome to the squad, big dog. I'm glad you wanted to be a part of what we build in here. Yeah, it was an easy choice, man. I see the potential this offense has, and I really feel like I can help take it to that next level, you know? I knew this was the place to be. Good. Because I wasn't trying to come out of retirement after one year. I know you have a lot of untapped potential. I told the entire office and staff, we needed you in this building. Hey, I appreciate that. I'm ready to put the work in. Well, it's time to put that work in. What you do in practice and in the preseason, go set the tone for the type of season you have. Let's make it a good one today, all right? I'm ready to go, coach. Yes, sir. <laughs> that dude is big, bro. God damn. All right, now do we get into our first game? I think that I already did that right. Yeah, I did that, so I don't know why it's still there. All right. First game, preseason game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I can set my weekly goals. I already know how these work because it was in the other one. A uh, weekly goal. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, rush for a touchdown. That's hard. I think we can rush for a touchdown even though we won't play much. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Let me go back. This is view goals, view goals, view goals. I think I can rush for a touchdown. Season goals. Oh, okay, I can't. Legacy goals. All right, so whatever, weekly goals. Rush for a touchdown. That's our goal. Get a touchdown. We can get 200 points. Play preseason. You only play the first quarter. I think that might be enough. Six minutes, though, but that should be enough to get, uh, whatchamacallit, that uh, touchdown. I can't even speak. I forgot. We got Tyreek Hill, and we got Terrell Armstead on the offensive line. So let's hop into this first game. Let's go, baby. Game one. NFL preseason action. CJ Lewis. I'm hearing no commentary. There it is. I like this presentation. Not gonna lie. It's pretty sick. If you can see me looking to the right, it's because I keep adjusting my audio. Tom Brady was supposed to retire and he's back. Mike Evans in this stacked Bucks team. The Miami Dolphins and the upcomer CJ Lewis. And we get the ball first. And I've already got touchdown drive, rush for a touchdown. So the drive goal is a touchdown drive. We already have our weekly goal. I like how this goal is on the drives. Uh, more plays are available by scrolling. Okay, yeah, I already knew that. So obviously, we're going to be run heavy offense, even though we have Tyreek Hill. I hate this camera. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I, we already, I already got a nickname for two and I, the one-two punch. And I get no yards. All right, we got second and ten. I don't don't know about this uh, camera, but it doesn't let me zoom in anymore. So, I mean, I guess I'm gonna deal with it, and I don't go anywhere. One yard. All right, we're gonna be passing on this play. Uh, I am actually I'm I'm here, and he's gonna put me out. To uh, down the middle, I'm, and he threw a pick. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of let him into that, but Tua's first pass is an interception to Levante, David. All right, and obviously the Bucks are going to score there, so set drive goal. I don't think I'm going to break four broken tackles. I think I'm going to break maybe one. So another running play here. Let's hope our line can hold it. I forgot we also got Cedric Wilson on this offense. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can actually get some yardage. And nope, nothing. Nothing. This Bucks defense is ferocious. Can I get some outside runs? Halfback stretch. There we go. Let's get a halfback stretch going here on second and 10. We only got a quarter. I'm not sure about that touchdown. Up the center. I get a little bit. I'm averaging a yard a carry. Third down. We're going to go with the pass here. Play action. I am going to be blocking on this play. I'm not controlling Tua, so I don't know why it's telling me. Good block and two. Oh my god, it's dropped. All right, they've ran out the clock big time. I got a minute 39 to score a touchdown. 
I'm not, it ain't looking good so far, not gonna lie. It ain't looking good so far. I'm actually gonna change this camera angle. Flip the run to the left and see what we can do here. And I'm getting a big run for once! Breaking a tackle and going out of bounds. Oh, the clock's still running. Second and one. I, I don't think I'm getting this touchdown, guys. <laughs> it ain't looking like a good debut in this preseason game. Going up the middle. I don't have the speed to get by. Let's see. I'll use the timeouts if I need to, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like it while they're unprepared and nothing. All right, second and 11. I, like I said, very unlikely I get a touchdown here. Very unlikely I get a touchdown on this play as Levant. How is Levante David faster than me? Nah, nah, nah. I know it's third and 10, but. You know what? All right, let's see. I'll go out wide. We need some yardage here. Secure catch. I, I was out of bounds. Two up, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to be it for my first preseason game. Went terrible. Went awful. And, yep, that's going to be it. We're going to get destroyed here in game one of the preseason down. Okay, well, it's 7 to 13 now. I don't really care. I'm just upset I didn't get my goals. As we're actually going to come back down 13-0. 16-17. 2016. And we might win here if we run out the clock. And we do. We're going to end up winning by, I believe, a point. I forgot Todd Bowles is the coach of the Bucks now. And we're going to win 20 to 19. I had a terrible game. Teddy Bridgewater played well. All right. So there goes the weekly goals. I have a, I have a lot to learn as a running back because I expect you to play quarterback. So I might actually have an upgrade here. And I do. I have two upgrades. Uh, So elusive. So what's my speed? Like, can I not break my speed? Uh, So I'm actually going to upgrade my trucking. I think my trucking needs to go up. What can it, what would it be maxed at? It's going to be maxed at 82, I believe that is, my trucking. My stiff arm is going to be maxed out at 85. So that's actually not terrible. Elusive moves. I can't do this, though. Elusive moves. Oh, yeah, 95 for all of those, which makes sense. It's going to be maxed out. And then carrying is going to be maxed out at no, 95 also. Uh Oh, wait, no, I have to back out. Okay, there we go. Uh, abilities. First one free, freight train, satellite. Hang on, next juke spin. So I'm gonna probably gonna do first one free. I think that is the best one for me. So let's hop into the second preseason game. I believe I can do. So advanced week next to the Raiders. And let's see what we can do. Uh, side activities ahead. Uh, open day. I'll definitely do that. That's blue, so that means that's... Uh, what you call? I don't really care about these. These are like nothing. Plus one stamina. I'll do three on threes, I guess. Uh, we'll do plus three strength. And I might keep this day open or no. Plus two max stamina for the next two games. I'll do that. We'll lock in our activities. Free time. Nope, cutscene. get involved with community outreach a little more you think you can help set me up with some opportunities absolutely you know i think it's great when guys who are new to the organization <coughs> are eager to get involved it is such a great way to build a relationship with our fans that's exactly what i want to do the fans have been awesome from day one and i really want to get back well that's fantastic i'll definitely make sure to get you all that information that way you could get some opportunities beyond what you're doing with the entire team oh that'd be great thank you andy my pleasure it's what I do. And hey, who knows? Maybe a Walter Payton Man of the Year nomination is in your future. Hmm, that would be an honor, but right now, I just want to find a way to make a difference off the field. Alrighty. That's that. Alright, locking activities. We'll simulate because I really don't care about doing practices. And bam! Got a hundred rep. Twenty-five rep. I don't even know what the rep does, to be honest, because it's clearly not our upgrade points. The man's playing Madden something. Offensive coordinator intro. All right, everyone. That's it for today. Hey, man. You got to do your homework tonight, all right? Get some rest. I mean that. So, how you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling blessed, coach. That's what I like to hear. 
Hey man, you can gain a momentum all throughout camp. And it's clear you got the physical gifts to be a really special player. Thanks, coach. I'm ready to be a big time playmaker for this team. Oh, I know. Bro, the things you do out on that field, oh man, can you turn some heads? He's excited. Gotta remember, there's always another level you can get to. And if you do that, I just know our offense will explode. Just tell me what I gotta do, coach. Well, for starters, you gotta carry yourself like you're the top dog. That means on and off the field. And you gotta prepare yourself that way, too. I got you, coach. If I put the playbook down, I got it with me right here. <laughs> I believe that. We just gotta keep seeing it out on the practice field. Eventually, that'll lead to game day. Hey, man, I'm excited for this season. I know it's gonna be good. That's what I'm here for, coach. Let's get out there and make some noise. Let's do it. What's that Troy Palmall look like, bro? Alrighty, that man's hyped. And here we go. Set weekly goals. Let's see. Rush for 30 plus yards. I don't know how many. Uh, get 10 plus yards per carry. That ain't happening, bro. Well, we'll. I want that rushing touchdown. I want that rushing touchdown. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna play though in this game. Uh, as a starter, you okay? So I'm only playing the first half again. Alrighty, here we go. Drive goals gain 15 plus yards, and we already know our weekly goals. Okay, of course we're gonna start off with the run. See what we can get here. See if we can get actually some yardage here. And I was trying to go up the middle, and I just got decked, bro. I got absolutely obliterated there. Let's see what we can do on second and nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right, and that didn't work. We can't have another three and out. This offense has been terrible <laughs> in that first preseason game. I'm gonna go out, and who is he gonna throw to? He's gonna. Oh my God, Gasecki didn't get the first. Oh, he does have the first down. All right, sick. Sick. I didn't think he got that first down there. I guess forward progress helped us there. All right, so now I got some more room for some runs. So let's hope we can get some blocks here. Number 30. And that's a big run. The biggest run so far in my career. And we got our drive goal gain. 15 yards. Second and two. Obviously, I'm going to run it. And see if we can get that first down. And we're going to be moving the changes. I get a big run right up the middle. Four rushes, 18 yards. Already exceeded my total yardage for last game. We're actually going to do a jet touch pass for Tyreek here. As Tyreek is the fastest player in the league right now. So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully I can block for him. And I did not block for him at all. As he broke the tackle off for Chandler Jones. But he lost four yards on the play. All right, quick pitch here. We'll see if we can get the blocks. I forgot we have Jaden Waddle too, along with Tyreek Hill and Cedric Wilson. As I'm not gonna that our offensive line is not doing good so far. Third and 16, two minutes left. I don't think I'm getting a touchdown this game, bro. The quarters just aren't long enough for me to get a touchdown. Tua uh, throwing to Tyreek Hill and he dropped it. And oh, I'm actually oh I'm playing. All right, I don't think I'm getting eight rush attempts. So, I'll try and get seven yards. I thought I was only playing the first quarter. But our offense, yeah, our offense is awful, bro. <laughs> really bad. So, yeah, I mean, our offensive line isn't doing much blocking right now. So, we're going to run a pass play here. I also hate these camera angles, bro. They're not good at all. What was that, Tua? And I caught it! I caught the pass. I did not expect that, Tua. I thought he was, uh, I thought he passed it to someone else, but I guess not. First and 10 now, so I can possibly get this touchdown. Maybe on this drive. Maybe on this drive, as I'm getting a big run again! Getting, I don't even know how many yards, but it was a rush of 7+. plus. That was a 14-yard gain. I'm actually going to go up the middle again, because it looks like there might be an opening if we can get some blocks here. And I'm going to the outside again, and I'm going to get... What is that? Seven. Seven yard gain. I'm going to switch to the left. Let's see what we can get here. And yeah, no, nothing. All right, we're going to run slants here. I'm actually going to put Tyreek Hill on a streak. Nope. Okay, I guess I'm over here now. Right here. Okay, nope. Pooty passes. And we got the first down. Third and nine. I'm just, I'm not getting the blocks I need. 
I'm not getting any blocking. Right up the middle. Tua. What are you doing, Tua? Oh, my goodness. Bro, if he passed it earlier, that's a first down. Not gonna lie. I'm starting to regret my decision of picking a running back. Because I don't have much anything. I don't have much say in the offense. I mean, if Tua throws a bad pass, he throws a bad pass. I can't do much about it. Like, what was... Okay, he caught it. At least if I was a quarterback, I have control over the offense. But as a running back, I don't have much control at all. So, we'll see what I'll do. As to a... Uh, okay, now he's starting to sling the rock a little bit. Let's keep the passing offense going, I guess. It's working so far. And up the middle, Tua is slinging that rock. Alright, I started talking garbage about Tua, and now he's, uh, he's slinging that thing. He's slinging that thing as I just got destroyed. And Jalen Waddle gets us to the three. I'm going to try and run and hope I can get a touchdown here. I don't think so, the way that box is stacked. The way that box is stacked right up the middle! My first touchdown of my NFL career. I complete the weekly goal and the half goal. CJ Lewis in the end zone first touchdown of my career and i'm gonna get benched for the rest of the game after tying it up 14 to 7 17 to 7 are we gonna go undefeated in the preseason so far we are 2 and 0 oh, beating the oakland raiders 14 to 27 i have two upgrades available do i go back to power nah you know what i think we're gonna go to our carrying and elusive is still pretty good, though. I'm going to go break tackle. I'm going to get that up to a 76. So now we are a 75 overall. We still have no abilities. Ah, uh, Madden didn't update the helmets. Because teams like the Eagles have a black helmet. Now, that kind of makes me sad. Not going to lie. <laughs> I kind of really wanted to play against the Eagles with their black helmets. Ah, well, that's disappointing, but it is what it is. Alrighty, drive goal is score a touchdown. Weekly goal, five yards per carry. So we saw what Tua can do with the ball last game. Let's see if he can um, replicate that. As so far, this play doesn't look great, but I'm going to stick with them. I'm actually going to go to the left. And if they can get that block, I do not get that juke move, and I got two yards. Alright, we're going to try halfback stretch again. And so far, I mean, that green is looking good. That green's looking good, and I got not much. So we're going to go with passing play here, third and six. Uh, Tyreek Hill is on an out route. I'm going up the middle, and I'm going to catch it. And I am going to get a huge first down. I see myself as more of a receiving back, possibly, than a running back. So convert on the third down conversion, first and ten here. On the Eagles 32. I don't know about that 5 yards per carry. Right now I'm getting 2. I'm going to keep running even though it's not smart. But I mean I'm a running back. I need those running stats. And I'm going to get a pretty solid carry there for 5 yards. Up to 3 yards a carry. I'm going left. Try and get this first down. See if I can get this first down here. My can Darrell Armstead gets the block. And I'm going to get the first down. And I'm going to break the tackle. Five rushes, 16 yards, still three yards a carry. Not great. Was that Kaiser White? Oh, my former Charger. I miss you, buddy. I will miss you. First and 10 here. I need to start getting big gains. Cedric, not Cedric, CJ Lewis in the end zone for the touch down. We complete the drive goal and we are in the end zone for our first score of the game. And we're going to get the ball right back. 7-7. Seven to seven, uh, 7 receiving yards. I think let's go over 25 receiving yards. So that's for me. That's not for the team. So I think after that big gain, I can get that. Right here. Wide open. As... Oh, Darius Slay is going to lay me out. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go pass heavy on uh, this drive. Oh, I'm wide open. Wide open for the catch. I don't know how many yards. What was that? 11-yard gain. Another first and 10 here. 
once again going pass heavy because when I pull that run play out, they're not going to know what hit him as I just got destroyed. And he's going deep for Tyreek Hill. Pass interference. Is that... Defensive pass interference. We're going to be on the four. And I need six yards to complete that drive goal. I don't think that's going to happen. So you know what? Let's run it up the middle. Run it up the middle. I got two yards on that carry. I believe I have five yards a carry so far. So I will take it. As I am going to get. Oh, our offensive line just killed me on that play. Offensive line couldn't do anything against Fletcher Cox. All right. Third down. See what we can do here. Can we score? Great to Tyreek Hill. And he does a backflip in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. I did not complete my drive goal, though. Or did I? Oh, I guess I did. Maybe I did. I guess I did. I Actually, no. I didn't say I did, so you know what? It's fine. Uh, do I have time to up? Like, what, what do I have right now for my rushing stats as what's going on? Is the game frozen already? Okay, now we're good. Five yards per carry. So, I don't know if I have that yet. So, I'm actually going to check. I am currently at four and a half yards per carry. So, that loss of yardage in the red zone hurt me big time. So, a big run here is necessary! CJ Lewis! That's definitely going to get it. Nine rushes, 61 yards, a touchdown. My third preseason game is like night and day compared to my first and my second, which wasn't bad. But I'm starting to look like a star. Number 30 gets the block there. And I am going to get another gain of three. Six and a half yards. A carry there. We're going to go pass heavy here. I want to keep that um, goal possible. Let's see what I can do right here. I'm wide open and I'm going to secure the first down. All right, we got third and inches and they're leaving a gap there. Up the middle, CJ Lewis. Big run, 13 rushes, 91 yards. I'm looking for my first 100 yard game. That's what I'm looking for right now. First 100 yard game, can I get it? I don't know, probably not. I'm tired here. Let's see what we can do on this play. I'm going to run straight into my offensive lineman and go absolutely nowhere. I, I'm not getting the best plays here. I want kind of like a halfback stretch, but that's not what I'm getting. And I might get it here, and that is going to be possibly it. 100 yards. My first 100-yard game in the NFL. Let's end it off on a touchdown. Let's end it off on a touchdown. And it's not going to be good, but we still got four seconds. Oh, no, we're going to get a field goal. It's fine. I played an amazing game. 15 rushes, 100 yards. We're going to go up by 10 if we make the field goal. And that is most likely going to do it. No, nope, I'm playing third quarter. I will take this. Uh, five rush yards at the contact. Oh, big run! For C.J. Lewis, 20-yard gain. I am torching this Eagles defense, which is actually a pretty damn good defense in real life. They've got the passing yards. We've got the rushing yards. But on that play, they're going to take me down. We got third and inches here. I'm going straight up the middle. I know I'm not a power back. But this should be it. This should be a first down easily. And I'm going to get the first down. 21 rushes, 127 yards, and a touchdown in my final preseason game and we're just getting started wow that's a pick six that that's pick six right there yep i i am selling two is gonna have a lot of picks this season because of me just saying so i have to gain 15 plus yards in two seconds is what you're telling me at the five yard line. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, coach. Hold on. Let me just get let me just gain these fifteen yards. I right, bet. Unless I'm playing the fourth quarter, that ain't doing it. And I am obviously not playing the fourth quarter like I expected. And we are gonna end this preseason three and no as we obliterate 
the Philadelphia Eagles. And we are 3-0 to end the preseason, ending it off on a huge game, the best game of my career so far. If we look at the stats, rushing-wise, I had 5 yards exactly. I almost ruined that. 25 attempts, 127 yards. Passing-wise, Jalen Hurts played amazing. 9 for 12, 134 yards. Uh, Tua played okay. So far, Teddy Bridgewater has been the better quarterback, but I'm kind of selling Tua. All right, final preseason game is over. 3-0. Oh. Advance the week to the regular season, and that is where we are going to end it off. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I'll do the side activity because I'm sure there's nothing actually... Yeah, so there's nothing, you know, cutscene-wise. So, that's going to be it for me. Leave that guy to enjoy. Subscribe, guys. Our new episode 2 might be uploaded today. Might not. I actually don't know. So, that's going to be it for me. If you guys do like it, be sure to leave a like. Let me know if you want me to upload more. I will probably regard this if I have time. GG.